She was a woman who came from another country. That is to say that she was not of the nationals. A widow that came to this country and also her mother-in-law was a widow. The mother-in-law returns to her country with this woman who is a foreigner, a stranger in the land. But this woman made a promise. I want your God to be my God. I want to live where you live. I want to die where you died. Your people shall be my people. So this woman has this immersion in a new country where she is dedicated to find a way to survive and to help her mother-in-law. She understands that there is a work, a work where she will have to go early in the morning until late in the evening to pick up seeds, grain that it was left over during harvest time. She will use this grain, she will take it to her house so that she will have bread to eat and to survive under these circumstances. Day after day she works very hard. One day the owner of these fields, this huge farm, sees the woman, asks about the woman, inquires about the woman, and he understands her story, her promises, and her situation. But something happened, very strange. The owner of these fields asked to the people that work for him to leave more grain to this woman so that she can take good grain to her house and more so that she will have more to eat and to feed herself and her mother-in-law. What happened? What happened in this story is that it tells us that this woman finds grace, favor, sympathy, compassion. This woman becomes like a fascination to the owner of the fields because of her commitment, dedication. She is at the trench doing a work to survive in a foreign land. This is something that we want to understand very well and to read the story, which is very short in the Bible. It's called the Book of Ruth. Just like Esther, I said in another video, now in the Book of Ruth, you find that these two women, they were able to accomplish their dreams. They were able to surpass their difficulties. They were able to gain their dream. They were able to accomplish their goals. They were able to reach their limits, not because they were wonderful people, but because they found grace in the eyes of other people. Favor, sympathy, compassion, fascinating. I pray every day and I'm asking God for his grace, his favor, that I may be able to reach my goals, my dreams, that I may receive his help, unconditional help, that I may find ways to get out of the conditions in which I find myself. Just like Ruth and Esther, if we're able to find grace in our conditions, we may be able to go higher to the next, next level. 
we may become like root the owner of the field because the story is so beautiful that she ends up marrying this man from being nobody she became someone from having nothing she ended up having something from not having a family now she has a family from not having recognition now she is recognized not having a god now she has god so innovation and promotion in our lives we can see things better if we pray and if we ask for the goodness mercy graciousness of god that we may be able to find in his sight his willingness for us to achieve our dreams pray for grace